Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot coming with an unboxing. Um, the Offset Gypsy Tarot. I pre-ordered this on Amazon, I want to say two months ago. Or I don't even remember, to be honest with you. Um, I know that I pre-ordered it on Amazon. It was one of those insomnia things and I saw it and I had to have it. So it's the Offset Gypsy Tarot. It's created by James Jacob Pieri. And we're just gonna open it now I haven't opened it this is the first time I'm opening it so I'm very excited um, I actually have a few well I'm I have a few new decks um, I didn't do unboxings because you know I've been busy with work but anyway let's just get right into this so this is a beautiful book it's pretty large here you can see by my hand so um, yeah look at the picture look at the pictorials I just really messed up but you know I'm not gonna edit it out I kind of stuttered uh, so the Hierophant so it has the definitions um, full color uh, depictions of the cards or the major arcana cards and then smaller for the um, minor arcana cards and uh, let's see here so they do give you some spread uh, um, suggestions uh, I may do them I may not I tend to just Free hand spreads or do like um, my uh, uh, astrology spreads but in my practice I, I freehand cards so I don't really follow a spread so I like the box it's magnetic um, they split the deck in two so it's gonna be interesting during this walkthrough so we'll just we'll just wing it we will just wing it I really am not a fan of these inserts. I tend to get rid of them. I might keep this one. Who am I fooling? I'm not gonna keep it. So anyway, I'm gonna get rid of the insert because I really don't like it. I'll put like a nice ribbon around it or a piece of twine to um, hold the cards together. I really do love this box though. I'm a sucker for magnetic boxes. So I'm gonna just put the deck together and we'll just do the walkthrough. But first, let's start with this gilding, this gold gilding. I really love it. Um, I'm also a sucker for gilding. I have a couple of decks that have the black edging. And can I just tell you that I am obsessed also with the black edging, the holographic edging, the silver edging, <laughs> the mirror edging, the gold edging. I just love it. So here is the back of the card so it just has the title and circle so you can't really tell when it's reversed I kind of like that and let's just do this walk through let's see if I could just lower this camera a little bit get my little hoopa out the camera and let's just do the flip through so I mean I really like this deck it, it does the artwork is very gypsy, gypsy ish um, and I love that. I love this style of artwork. So that's the full. Oh my god, look at the magician. Yeah, already obsessed. Doesn't take much. High Priestess. Love these cards. Yeah, totally obsessed with them already. Look at the Emperor. So it does seem that they have some diversity in this deck, um, I, and I like that because it's a reflection of the way the world looks. And if you think of gypsies themselves, they kind of come in all types of um, flavors of that chariot. Justice. The Hermit. If you have any questions about how I choose my decks, where I get them from, I kickstart a lot of decks. Um, I also have been fortunate that some people have sent me decks. Um, and then I, I'm a, who is it, right? I'm obsessive with Amazon. Um, Amazon has some amazing um, cards on there, mass market cards. I also go to these a uh, couple of occult shops uh, in New York City and 
they have an awesome collection. So if you wonder what shops I frequent, just drop me a note and I'll respond. But um, off the bat, I go, I've been to like Namaste. Uh, there's one not too far away from them. I forget what they're called. But I keep like a running list. Look at the world card of places I like to frequent. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm staring at it like <laughs> I'm such a fan. So we're into the pentacles or coins. And it's um pip style deck. Which I don't mind. I really don't have a lot of pip style decks to be honest with you. Um, I don't mind them, but it's not... Um, I'm not necessarily drawn to them either, uh, which is very interesting. But I really love the artwork of this deck. Kind of wish it wasn't Pip style because I like the way uh, this artist has done the major arcanas. And here we're getting into. And uh, you do know you can use these as playing cards, especially when they're pip style like this. You, you can use them as playing cards without the major arcana. And I probably will do that, to be honest with you. But yeah, these are nice. So these are cups. And the way they set up the deck, they don't have the aces first. They're kind of with the um, people, the people cards of the suit. I haven't done these videos in a long time. I need to get back to my game. Huh? But I have been working my little tail off at my regular job. And so... Yeah, and it's just life. Yeah, but I really love these cards. These are amazing. Actually, the artist here is... <laughs> it's just a beautiful deck. Um, the card stock is card boardy, but not in a bad way. In like a really good playing uh, card deck type of way. The swords. Not that I have to tell you that because we're already into it. I'm just moving quickly because. But look at this. Look at the ace. Come on. That's why I wish he uh, continued with like the major arcana theme because that artwork is just. It's, it's breathtaking. And the pictures I mean the color I mean the color saturation is so much better in person than it looks on this camera I can tell you that much we're into the last suit here which is wands or staffs so actually I'm not sure what this artist chose to call the um, Minor Arcana. I'm going to give it the book a look when I'm done walking through this. But yeah, these are amazing. Amazing artwork. I'm going to give it a shuffle so don't go away because I know how a lot of my viewers, not that I have. 10,000, but I do have a couple of thousand. Um, I'll split it because it's kind of a thick deck. Um, a couple of thousand followers here, and uh, some of them have requested like ASMR shuffling. And I do have a video of just me shuffling. Okay, this shuffles amazingly. Not too stiff, and I, I thought they would be more stiff because of the. Um, the GSM of the deck, but no, not at all. They shuffle. They shuffle like Vegas. 
Let's see if I can get a good grip because my hands are so small. Okay, now I have to split them. But I overhand shuffle too. So let's give it an overhand shuffle so you guys can see. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, amazing, amazing deck. Let's give the book one more peek. So the Osset, Osset Gypsy Tarot created by James Jacob Pieri. Um, oh, there's about the author. But I just want to give it a quick, quick glance. So this coins. Coins, cups, swords, and wands. Okay, so just like uh, just like regular tarot, but this is an amazing deck. Um, I again, I love the major arcana cards. I kind of wish it was carried through the whole deck, but I am satisfied with this. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to read. I tend to hold my cards until I bond with them. Um, but funny enough, I kind of feel bonded with this deck already. Which I, I always love when that happens. I get this little butterfly tingle in my belly and I get a little nauseous when I um, am bonded. Also, I can feel my third eye activated. So that's how you kind of know. Well, that's how I know when I bond with the deck uh, instantly. Um, you may get a different feeling if you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment. I'm very curious to see how you bond with your decks or what feeling you get from your decks. Um, anyway, I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot. Thank you for joining me.